Hello everyone, this is Maureen and welcome to My Crochet Story, where I share with you two things that I love, teaching and crochet. Today is Tuesday, June the, let me look, 13th. You know, it's awful. After I uh, retired from teaching, I'm lucky if I know what day of the week it is, let alone the number of the week. But anyway, um, I was able to meet up with one of my Texas girls here in the Houston area. We went out and had a very nice lunch at Papacitas, which is a Mexican restaurant throughout all of Texas. And then we went on some yarn shopping, which I will get to here in just a few minutes. But before I do, let me say thank you to all of you that are here. I really do appreciate you spending this little bit of time with me, seeing what I've got, and just listening to me ramble. Now, if you're new to my channel, please take a moment to look at all the other content that I've uploaded. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner, and then look for the bell with the little hugs on the sides, and it'll notify you every time I upload content. So, my visit with my good friend Mary, she's one of the ladies that I have met in a Zoom room, and um, it just was fate, folk, that we were supposed to meet and have some time together, which was wonderful. It was great to be able to talk to someone that kind of has the same interest as myself and has gone through some of the life struggles as myself, so it, it was really a good, good visit. Now, while we were sitting there at lunch, she gifted me some yarn and a little trinket uh, that I've never seen before. I didn't even know it existed, but first let me show you the first part of the gift. Now, she picked this up way back when uh, Hobby Lobby was having a yarn clearance, and she said when she saw this, she just said, that's Maureen. And I, she couldn't have said it any better, folks. Look at all those gorgeous colors. Isn't that just beautiful? I am so in love with it. It is a um, Yarn Bee Authentic Hand Dyed Blend. It's called Farmer's Market. And that pretty much so, sums up what you can see at a Farmer's Market. It is a, let me look on here now real quick. I should have looked at this before. It has 400 yards, which must mean then it's about a, says to use a 3.25 millimeter hook, so I bet this is about a one or a two weight. It is, let's see what the blend is on it, 50% superwash merino and 50% lias. Sell, I think. Yes, it is a one way. It is a one way. But, you know, to me, folks, that looks a little bit. I guess it is a true one way. But I got three hanks of it, so I just got to figure out what it is I'm going to make with it. This is going to take a very special project, let me tell you. Now, this is the little trinket she gave me. It is called a thread cutter pendant. Um, it's a convenient cutter and pendant all in one. Now it is a, um, let me describe it to you first. It is a pendant, it's round, and it has a blade in between two pieces of metal. And around the outside edge, you're going to see here in just a few minutes, there are different little size notches so that you can just whip it up there and cut your yarn. Now is that not the cutest little thing? I have never ever in my life seen anything like this. I didn't even know it existed. But is that not cool? It is made by, oh, it's a Clover Needlecraft um, notion. Well, I'll be darned. It's called Art Number 455. So if you're interested, yep, it's made by Clover called the Thread Cutter Pendant. So if you'd like to have one, there you go. Look her up and cut her. Okay, so that's what Mary brought to me. Now, then we went um, 
yarn shopping, you know, two yarnable people cannot get together and not hit at least one yarn store. Now, we not only hit one, but we hit two of them. And it's still very disappointing. As far as I'm concerned, folks, um, there wasn't much in Hobby Lobby. And yes, they've gotten rid of everything except their own uh, house brand, you know, the I Love This Yarn, and they have the Yarn Bee. They had no hand dyed yarn whatsoever. So I don't know if, you know, they're not going to carry any hand dyed yarns anymore. Uh, as you can see, this this hank here is from, um, let me get it up there, it is a Yarnaby hank, so I wouldn't see if they're going to keep Yarnaby why they wouldn't carry it, but there wasn't any to be found. And the shelves were still pretty sparse, so uh, maybe things just haven't reached Texas yet as far as getting built back up with, you know, having the shelves stocked again and everything. But I was able to find quite a few um, new colors that I hadn't seen before. Now, I haven't been in a Hobby Lobby um, since, well, it's been what, maybe a month? Yeah, it's been about a month. But the Hobby Lobby at St. Lucie's didn't have these yarns that I found. So, again, I don't know, but I was happy to find them because I saw hats written all over them. So let me show you what I got. Mm. See if I can pick it up. All right, let me just get some of these pulled out. Of course, I had to get some uh, of my uh, crafter secret. I always do. You never know when you're going to have to use some. And I never seem to have the right color when I want it. All right, so let's look here. Get these out. Now all of these are of the uh, I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby's House brand. Now this one is called Spring Green and it is a stripe. Isn't that pretty? I just think it is so, so pretty. It is a four-way. It is machine washable and dryable, but obviously don't bleach it and don't uh, dry it. It is 100% acrylic. It is a five ounce skein or 142 grams, and it has 252 yards. And of course it says that you can use a um, eye hook. Um, it is a good, good size four weight there really do like it but um, when I pick this one up I have a hat that's called falling leaves that I'm getting ready to do a tutorial on and I thought oh man look at all those colors isn't that pretty but then I found this one and so I think this is the one that the hat's going to be made out of it is called cobblestone ivy again it has the same specs it's a four weight um, it's all acrylic the same amount of yardage, you know, just everything is just in a different colorway. What do you think about that one? I think that this will make a much better choice if I want to talk about leaves that are falling off the trees in the autumn. But there you go. And then, of course, I had to pick up some more stripes from uh, I Love This Yarn collection. This one is called sunset. Now, I don't know why they call this one sunset because I don't think its colors represent sunset, but the colors are pretty anyway. So there you go. Again, I think this is going to be a gorgeous hat. And then I found this one. Look at that. This one is called Sand Dunes, and I would totally agree with that. Is that not pretty? I may have to go back and get some more of this and make something else out of it. I really, I really like this one. This one is so pretty. So, so pretty. And then this last one here is called Jazzed Up Stripes, and I love it. Those are my colors, guys. Those are my colors. 
Is that not pretty? Now I bought another skein here which I am not going to show you because that's for another video. So I'm going to put him right back over here on the floor. Uh, and then like I said, I always have to pick up some of my Crafter's Secret. Now I've not seen this color before. It is really, really pretty. It is, it says it's fabulous. And yes, I would agree this is fabulous. Now it's looking a little more bluish there, but I would just call this a really, really pretty teal. And I mean a dark teal. Now your Crafter's Secret is a 16 ounce uh, skein. It has 810 yards. It is a 100% acrylic, and it says to use an eye hook. And I really like Crafter's Secret because look at the size of that four weight. Some might even say it's closer to a five, but it is a really, really good four weight yarn. And I just love it for a lot, lot of crafts, lots of crafts. And I decided I needed to go ahead and pick me up some Christmas stripes. So that I can kind of get started on my um, Christmas stuff that I want to get started on and start showing you off in the uh, in September and October. So figured I better pick up a skein of two of these and have them on hand to go ahead and get start playing with. So that's about all I did today, and I just wanted to jump on and um, show you a little bit. Now I know that this said yarn review on my new little thumbnail there but I'm not going to uh, pull any of this apart and um, stitch up anything with it for you right now I mean most of you are familiar with uh, I love this yarn it is a very nice um, soft acrylic it really is um, and I, like it says, I love this yarn. Of course, I've loved uh, Hobby Lobby's yarn ever since they came out with it. Um, and they have, you know, over the years come up with very, very beautiful color combinations, just like in their new Stripe series here. So uh, I'm anxious to see once they start getting the shelves stacked, uh, stocked back up, uh, what other color combinations they're going to offer for us. Now, um, I did see a couple of new yarns or new yarns for me, but I didn't purchase them yet because they weren't in colors that, um, that I really wanted to work up. So whenever the shelves get a little bit uh, more situated and maybe they bring on some more colors, I'll buy a few, a few of those skeins and give you my opinion about those. But this was mainly just about I wanted to share with you uh, what I was able to go out and purchase and then to share with you what my lovely friend Mary was able to uh, bring to me and say that it's so nice to meet you. I mean, you know, it's one thing to see each other through the camera, but to actually get to feel and hug and, and talk face to face, it was a really, really enjoyable day and one of the many highlights to my uh, little vacation here back in Texas. So that's all I have for you. I hope that you stayed through here to the end and that you enjoyed the yarn that uh, I shared with you. So until next time, be the light out there in the darkness for someone today because you never know could be your light that they are waiting to see. I love you all. Bye.